Boy, it really doesn't like that. So did you get a lot of uh, silver and gold that's not real? Uh, we get a few pieces. This won't, this won't test at all. So this is a tester that you use if you're, maybe you get something in the shop that's gold or silver that you're unsure about? That's correct, yeah. It's a good double check. And what we have here on the pad is we have a few uh, counterfeit silver pieces that we've obtained um, and some, some authentic gold pieces. And we'll show you how they test. Now, one of the things that, that people will, will mark, like this piece, it'll say one ounce, one troy ounce, but it's German silver. And we all know German silver is just basically silver plated. Mm -hmm. This is an outright counterfeit. It says one ounce, 999 fine silver. It's not. Here is a Chinese panda that, if you drop it on the counter, you can hear it's not silver. But So let's, let's power up our machine here and let's do the silver first. So we have to get it set. We have to select 999.9 .9 pure silver. And then when we put the piece on here, you see the arrow here that is pointing out. That's telling us, nope, that's no good. If we have a, a real piece of silver inside the brackets, it gives you a, a, a good signal here. So this is, this is pure, pure silver. Here's our German silver piece. The plastic is a little too thick for that. So, and it doesn't like that at all. It's not giving us anything. But again, when you drop that, it doesn't have the sound of silver. Mm -hmm. Here is our bad Chinese panda mm -hmm. again showing that it's it's no good. Did you bring something with you you wanted to check? Yeah, this thing right here. So this was just in a collection. Okay, yes. Well, just by looking at this, it's so soft, it's the wrong color, and you put it on there, it just doesn't like it at all. But let's, this is not 999 silver, so we have to actually go to 90%. Let me even try 80% Canadian. It, yeah, it's just not liking it. It's not picking it up well through the holder. You know, it's not even 80%. Mm -hmm. This is, you drop it on the counter, it doesn't sound like silver. You look at it, it's, it's just soft. It's this kind of gray, worn German silver look. Cheap reproductions. Okay. These should fool nobody. Yeah. <laughs> but so, they're, they're getting better. They're making some things now that, you know, this, if you look at this visually, it looks pretty close to what a panda looks for that year. But again, when you ring it, it doesn't have the right ring at all and, and, and it won't test. Okay, and the same for the gold, it's very similar. You just set it to gold and it'll land in well, the Well, let's, let's go up here to, okay, so we're on pure gold now, 999 plus, and a maple leaf is pure gold. And it shows that it registers inside the, the marker here. Now, a gold eagle is not going to test 999 fine. It's outside because it's not pure gold. It has pure gold in it plus impurities and the gold American Eagle because it has some silver and it has its own, its, its own category here and you can see that that tests out well, once we go to the gold American Eagle setting. Now if we put on the, so what if we put gold? the Canadian Maple Leaf on there, it tells us that's better than, and you go back and test it at 999. I don't know if this is going to test through, through the, uh, the holder or not, 98.6% gold. No, that's not gonna, that's not gonna work through the holder. But anyway, this is not 98.6. The uh, US gold coins, yep, still just too much, too much interference through the holder. Okay. But there's a place here that you can test each of the purities that you would normally find coming into uh, a store or if you were doing it at home, the things that you would normally run up to. There's just all kinds of different categories that you have to go to so the machine can objectively look at what you're you're looking at in the silver it has a pre-1900 silver and uh, a post-1900 silver the content changed just a little bit the the impurities so they're um it has a slightly different setting that you'll have to use okay just a matter of paying attention to what it says on the screen Okay. If you guys want to buy any coins in Cincinnati, if you come through Cincinnati, a trip here, make sure you guys go to Coins Plus. They have three different locations. Check out their business card right here. You can call Brad, ask for Brad, tell him that Couch Collectibles sent you. He might even give you a deal if you do that. I don't know. All you got to do is negotiate. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I... Uh, 
disappear.